A 14 days quarantine for people arriving in the UK from other countries. Airlines are told to expect new measures to help stop the spread of coronavirus. Never give up, never despair. The Queen's message to mark the 75th anniversary of VE Day. Our streets are not empty. They are filled with the love and the care that we have for each other. Relieving the boredom of lockdown, how it's turned us into a nation of quarantine quizzes. Quizzes and, and general knowledge, there's a correct answer to things, so it gives us a sense of certainty. And that is something that's lacking in a lot of people's lives in a lot of areas at the moment. Good morning. The former world champion Amir Khan warns it's too dangerous for boxing to return in July and tells us he won't risk his family's health by getting back in the ring until the pandemic is over. Yesterday, the government announced another 626 people had died with coronavirus, including a six-week-old baby with underlying health problems. The child is believed to be the youngest victim in the UK. The total number of deaths in all settings now stands at 31,241. The Times is claiming that passengers arriving into the UK will be asked to self-isolate for a fortnight or face a £1,000 fine. We understand that the, Air the Airlines UK has been given this information as well. The Guardian reporting the government plans to reopen schools in England by the 1st of June are now in doubt as teachers and unions say a full return is unsafe until a full test and trace system is in place. Uh, the image you can see there is uh, that street in Chester, actually. We featured it yesterday, didn't we, on the programme, where they go in for their VE Day anniversary celebrations in a very unique way. Mm. Those celebrations are also leading... The Express, the paper's front page, shows a picture of the Queen featuring a quote from her VE Day speech that reads, Our streets are not empty, they're filled with the love and care we have for each other. And online, the eye is featuring an image of the red arrows during flypast. Also picking up on that message, uh, we're going to see it and hear it a lot today from the Queen's speech. Queen's message, never give up and never despair. It's a, it, those are words that will resonate a great yeah, deal. Absolutely. I mean, and it was it, obviously it was on VE Day, and it was a message that, that that had a resonance for a generation then. But many people are saying, of course, now is a time when those same thoughts have a part to play. And so poignant that she was doing it at the same time her father had made that speech 75 years ago. Um, so people, I, I like what, what catches my eye in the papers is what people are doing to keep themselves. Occupied. I can't remember what I was talking about yesterday, but the, today it's all about ancestry. And you know, with um, VE Day, with the celebrations, there was the government has joined with um, Ancestry UK, so people could trace back their history. Find out a little it, more about exactly, veterans exactly, who may have been linked to their family. Exactly. Yeah. But it's become um, quite a thing. And this is the Telegraph, the day, uh, Saturday Telegraph, saying that um, there are growing numbers of people. Can you hold? Are you allowed to hold that there over there? There we go. Um, uh, lots of people are um, taking a look back and it's got some um, suggestions. If you do want to know, obviously quiz older relatives, search for old letters, photographs, documents. Um, you can build a family tree, search the censuses as well, parish records. Um, and use, using all those, you can find crime and punishment records, military records. So lots of people are finding either sinister things about their families, which I think is a bit more interesting, yeah. personally. Well, the access to information now is uh, other than it ever has been. So the ability to do that kind of thing is obviously completely changed. And people find it really, re really relaxing. Uh, it's just something a thought you always say you would do. This is from the uh, Times in the weekend section. A lot of people are interested, partly because they've got more time and also their, their structures around their days are changing. They can't sleep. And uh, whether, you're, whether you change your pattern. So if you don't have to, if you normally had to get up for work at a certain time, you're working at home or whatever, are you sticking to the same routines? And there's a whole piece here looking at, well, you know, are you having trouble sleeping? Here, here are the new rules. One of them is that um, they're suggesting, uh, maybe people, oh, this is fairly obvious in a way, but if you have create a new routine. So if you used to get up at a certain time, you don't need to then, just pick another time to get up at every day so you have a kind of structure to your day. And one other one there, I don't know if you're hearing this anecdotally, a lot of people saying their dreams are very, very vivid. Very vivid. At the moment. <clears throat> and uh, again, there's a lot of research done into this. And um, one of the experts here is uh, Professor Colin Esprit, who is from uh, sleep medicine professor from Oxford University, saying, 
Part of the brain's function during sleep is to process emotions, uh, including dealing with threat. So no surprise that when you it's shut feeling. down, there's a lot uh, going on in your head. So it's, it's actually a, a, a good process that is helping you. I'm sleeping loads more when I'm not at work and talking less in my sleep, which I understand is a good thing. <laughs> UK airlines have been told that passengers arriving into the UK will have to quarantine for 14 days. The restrictions which exempt arrivals from the Republic of Ireland are expected to come into effect at the end of the month. However, the industry body Airlines UK said the policy needs a credible exit plan and should be reviewed weekly. The Queen has made a televised address marking the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War in Europe. At the end of a day of commemorations, the Queen urged us never to give up or despair and shared her memories from 1945. She also praised Britain's response to the coronavirus epidemic that she said had filled empty streets with love.